Have you noticed that a lot of your competitors are moving to private accounts on social platforms like Instagram? What's up guys, Nathan Olson here from Your Charisma, and in this video we're specifically going to be talking about why brands are starting to move to private accounts on Instagram. Find out why in this video. If you're like any good brand on Instagram, you're constantly checking out your competitors on the platform. You're looking at their content, their followers, their engagement, and you're trying to really do research on your competitors to understand what their audience likes and dislikes about their product. That way you can possibly move in to take some of that market share from them. But seeing as it that you've been on Instagram for a while, you've probably started to notice that a lot of your competitor brand accounts have actually been moving to private accounts on Instagram. And here's why. When it comes to private accounts, there's a lot of benefits that you get that might not seem readily apparent. At first, you might be thinking, why would I get a private account that's going to reduce my reach and my overall uh, impact on the platform because it'll be limited to a small group of people that are able to see my content. But actually, there's a lot of benefits that come along with a private account, and we're going to talk about a few of them here. As we've seen on Instagram, there's been a real push for authenticity, genuine, uh, genuineness, transparency, and a real connection with your followers. More brands have been starting to create smaller and more private accounts in order to build a stronger relationship with their following. And in seeing that, along with this, this push and this wave and this trend of transparency, these private accounts are going to start becoming more uh, a part of that because brands and other accounts really want to establish strong connections. And by reducing your audience pool to only people that are really interested in following your content, you'll be able to build those stronger relationships and it's going to be able to compound on itself as you start to build um, with the community through your content and your engagement. Another reason why private accounts are becoming so popular, we've seen it on Facebook and it's going to come to Instagram as well. Back when Facebook was really big, there used to be a ton of huge, big groups, but we now see that a lot of smaller groups have been created and the amount of individuals in each group has actually diminished as well. And that's because it's become more uh, localized and it's become more tight knit. Communities are being evolved out of just the smallest groups of people and they become very strongly bonded with one another. Um, this adds to the exclusivity that's going to come with uh, having a private account or having a closed group on Facebook. Individuals will think that you, you know, you're, you're not interested in the explosive growth that it comes with an open account. You're more interested in providing constant value and really working with the people that are in your community. And that's what's perceived when there's a private account or there's a closed group. Individuals feel like, um, why am I being restricted from seeing this content? Obviously, I want to opt in to even check out if I like the content because without knowing uh, what they have to offer, a follower kind of feels like they're not in the know, they're not in the, you know, the, the realm of your inner circle and they feel a little left out. So that's going to make people, you know, strive to be inclusive and the exclusivity of a private account is really helpful to generating um, those types of follows and those types of leads. Another reason why brands are starting to move to private accounts on Instagram, we've seen it with email marketing and we're going to see it on Instagram as well. When you have a private account, there is a two step uh, unsubscribe or unfollow opt in that individuals have to do. And we've seen it with email marketing. You know, when you go to an unsubscribe on an email marketing list, typically you're taken to an unsubscribe page where you then have to click another button. So it's a two step process. It takes a little bit more. Typically individuals will forget about that second step and they won't continue uh, from the unsubscription process. And you'll get to retain that lead, hopefully to, you know, bring them back into the circle and bring them back into a positive mindset with your business. Um, but with the, you know, the two step unfollow process on Instagram, when you have it a private account, it takes a little bit longer and it takes a little bit more, uh, you know, decision making process for the individual to unsubscribe. So it's like, you know, it's not as simple as a quick little tap for unfollow. It's like tap unfollow. Are you sure? And you know, the individual has to willingly in their mind be like, yes, I'm sure I want to unfollow this person. And it's, it's just that brief second where a lot of individuals might, you know, not take that, that extra step and they might not unfollow you. Um, and that's, that's going to be helpful for audience retention. 
Another interesting aspect of having a private account is the ability to kind of control and moderate. You know, with these private accounts, you get to choose who comes into the inner circle. By doing that, you know, you're kind of filtering in the type of people that come into your circle and you get to build a certain demographic within your following and within your audience group. And through that, you know, you'll be able to establish better connections because throughout the the individuals that you choose, typically you're going to choose ones that flow very well with the other community members. And that's only going to help uh, push the overall growth and value of the community. And it's about building those relationships. And with control, you know, individuals might not feel as open or as vocal in a open group because anyone can see it. Anyone can demonize them for it. And we live in a world where you know, you really have to be watched on your toes and you have to be careful of what you say because there's a lot of individuals that will come and take you down any peg at any chance. And there's a lot of individuals that will take a specific thing out of context and make it in negatively impactful to a specific group. And that's why people have become very moderated in what they say. So with the closed group, you get to open the voice of your target audience through those personal connections that you've already established is going to help bring that voice out, but especially in a closed group where they feel like they're amongst peers, not the everyone that is in the Instagram world or is on the internet can come view their comment or view their post um, and possibly get demonized for that. So with a private account, you get a little bit more control over the types of interactions, comments, and, you know, type of voice that you give your audience and that's what's really helpful in these private accounts is establishing that true voice from your customer and your audience pool because those are the individuals that you actually want to hear from um, in perpetuity while there are benefits to having a private account there are also some negative impacts of having a private account for example if you have a business account you cannot actually have a private account you will have to switch back to a personal and then go private and that might actually hurt a lot of individuals. You know, there's a bunch of great benefits that come along with having a business account. You know, you get the data analytics, you get the uh, swipe up feature in stories, and you get a lot of uh, other features that are extremely helpful, you know, shopping in stories, shopping in feed. Um, but with a private account, you're not going to have access to that. However, with a stronger, more tight knit community, I think you can circumvent that with having stronger CTAs and just stronger call outs because your audience is going to be more receptive to the products offer and values uh, that you're bringing to the table. Another thing that's going to be tough, as we've talked about before, that exclusivity is kind of a double edged sword. And the fact that it is going to be make people a little bit more interested in seeing what the type of content you might be posting, um, if they're not familiar with your brand. However, on the same side of that, if they're not familiar with your brand, they don't even know the value that you could be potentially putting out in that group. So they might not feel the interest or even the wherewithal to, you know, make that follow request because they're not going to get that instant gratification of seeing what you have to offer. They might even feel a sense judged because you're going to be filtering through the people that you allow into this group. And if they don't make it in, then, you know, you don't, they don't fit your core values of what it takes to be a community member. And that can be negatively impactful to new followers. And the last negative impact that I think is really impactful for private accounts is that it's going to reduce your overall reach because your content is not going to be displayed on the explore page. You're going to be restricted to only your community members in senses in, in matters of reach. Um, so that's going to impact your overall growth. But we've seen, you know, there's been a couple case studies that I've read on the internet where individuals have gone from about 10 to 50,000 uh, follower organic growth with an open page. But once clients moved to a closed group, you know, they saw a three, four X in the overall amount of growth. And that's not due to their content doing more work. That's essentially just from being able to, you know, get those mentions uh, and get those opt ins through the positive benefits that we've talked about previously. So guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. If you're a brand, I would strongly consider maybe doing a, a pros and cons list of the benefits of breaking down to a either business or a private account and then making a decision and sticking with it for a couple months. You can always run trials. Uh, don't be afraid. You could run a private account for about three months, check your growth over those three months and compare that to a previous three months of an open account. 
Um, but if you have any questions, any concerns, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I'll be answering all of them. And remember, guys, keep growing, keep striving, and keep learning.